back to Eating Well with Rosha. So for today's video, I'm just going to talk about this one. It's from Other Foods, and it's called It's Fall Somewhere Pumpkin Bread and Muffin Mix. It's gluten-free and paleo-friendly and makes one nine-inch loaf, um, and it's certified gluten-free, has no grains, no gums, no corn, and no soy. Um, the only hop eight allergen it has is uh, tree nuts because it has coconut flour in it. Um, it also is certified carb kosher. Um, so basically, I made this mix. Um, I didn't have a nine inch loaf pan, so I um, used my or a nine by five uh, loaf pan. So I just used my eight by eight inch. Um, so I cut down the cooking time because it was um, thinner. The cooking time it recommends is forty to forty six minutes, and I just did thirty minutes because of the like shorter height of the loaf. Um, also, it calls for eggs and milk. So for the eggs, I used um, Bob's Red Mill egg replacement for all six eggs it called for. I was a little worried that might make it lumpy, but I was able to, I think, get a good consistency on it. And then um, for the non-dairy milk, I used coconut milk. So, so here's like a little piece that I um, cut off from my loaf. And I would say like initial look, uh, it looks like it has a nice like fluffy texture and you can kind of see like it's got nice you know air pockets in it on the side um it wasn't like crumbly when I um cut it up so that was a good sign but it also wasn't um rubbery so I'm hopeful that it'll taste good so let's see how it tastes so this is made the first ingredient is cassava flour and I've worked with cassava flour before. Actually, check out my video um, that I made one-to-one, um, -one, a recipe that called for cassava flour. I would say the only thing about this that I don't like because of the cassava flour is that the smell is really strong from it. But everything else I actually really like. It turned out nice and fluffy, like I said. has a good taste. The pumpkin spice is like on point in it. Um, having to use the vegan eggs... Um, and like coconut milk didn't mess with the texture or taste at all from what I can tell. So that's really nice. Um, I will tell you that I kind of like licked the spoon when I was making it. The batter was really bitter and so I was a little worried, but the actual loaf once it cooked is not bitter at all. Um, I think it would be good if you added a glaze on it, um, but it's not so dry that it's necessary, which is refreshing. So, um, overall, I definitely like this. I was like kind of pleasantly surprised, um, and it was really easy to make. Uh, didn't require very many ingredients, and you just like mix them all in one bowl and stick them in the oven. So I did appreciate that as well. So overall, I'd say this definitely gets a cheat. Thank you so much for watching. Um, if you've ever um, used this product or this brand and you have any baking tips, feel free to share those in the comment section below. Um, give me a comment if you like this video, telling me hi, letting me know what your favorite videos are. If there's anything um, you'd like me to cover, I'm more than happy to reach out to the brand to see if I can do a review of them. And uh, Happy holidays, everyone. As you can see, I'm peeping my Hanukkah pajamas, and I wish everyone out there a safe and happy holiday season. Thank you so much for watching. Um, if you're looking for additional content or different types of content, feel free to check out my website, Eating Well with Rochelle, and I'll see you next time. Have a great night. Mm -hmm.